I didn't advertise the session. You must please forgive me. Hello, Dawn, darling. Hello, Amara. Hello, Nde. You were at some rooftop over the weekend. I saw the video. Yeah, huh? <laughs> DJ, darling. Good evening. I saw your text, my darling. I'm going to reply you. How is everyone doing? I hope you've had a super weekend. I've just literally come back for Milton Keynes and there was a conference vessels of his honor and in attendance um, since Friday has been Funke Felix Adejimo. I adore that woman of God. I adore her immensely. And she was there and there was the opportunity for one-to-one -one meeting conversation impartation um, God is wonderful so I'm, I'm still dripping with the oil <laughs> if you have not had a chance as yet good evening Charles good evening I am well if you've not had a chance to view the video I recorded earlier it was a very hastily done job I didn't even have a title for it when I was recording it by all means, try and watch it. You see the whole church dancing. Oh, it's just, it was wonderful. My reason for making sure I came on, on tonight before 12 midnight is just to make sure um, that we are still operating as we have been from January, which is that we pray our way into the new month hallelujah um i didn't want 12 midnight to come and catch us and on october 1st we've not done anything for the month of october so we should have started this two three days ago but as you know um we have been doing a number of initiatives yesterday was when we had the conference uh mfm conference i uh seven of us went down but um, whenever you can, if there's any video you've missed this week particularly, please go and watch it. We are now in, in day number, I believe, 52 or 53 of this 70-day initiative. We're closing in. This finishes on the 15th of October, so in two weeks' time. We have been praying. What was a joke has become very serious indeed. And from this point until October the 15th, hello Jasmine darling, from now until the 15th of this month, it's all about glorification. So you're going to see that the degree of our prayers change, the temperatures change, the concentration changes. Is it devil? We've killed him. Is it witches? We've killed them. Is it, is it, is it animalistic spirits? We've killed them. Right now, the way we have prayed, the extent to which we have prayed is such that we have not, not only been justified by God, but now it's time for glorification. And I hope you're ready. So, we still have 39 more minutes to go before 12 midnight. Just begin to give God glory, begin to give God praise. The month of October is the 10th month of the year. Biblically, what does it mean? Let's not forget that God gave us the Ten Commandments. Hallelujah. You will do well to never forget the Ten Commandments, particularly um, as it is um, twinned with the number 10. 
10 reflects God's authority and God's governmental rules. Hallelujah. For mankind, it, it represents one, what mankind must do. You know, um, to be able to keep in alignment and synchronicity with God. So this month, we are going to absolutely keep remembering that. Hallelujah. The number 10, when, when you hear the phrase, God said, God said, it appears 10 times in the creation week of Genesis 1. God said, God said, God said, appears 10 times. Let's not forget about the 10 plagues of Egypt. There were 10 instances of God's judgment released on our enemies, or on the enemies of Israel. So this is also the month where God is going to, in multiples of 10, increase his wrath upon the wicked for your sake and my sake. Hallelujah. You know? So the ten, number 10 is particularly important. 10 also represents a tenth. It talks about the tithe. Your tithe, a tenth of your income. I don't, somebody said to me, Pastor, don't cheat people of their blessings. And it's true. But you know, in this, in this one has to be very careful how one talks about money in this community. But careful as I am, the Bible is the Bible. The tithe is the 10% 10, 10 of income. When Jesus loved to use the number 10 a lot. There were 10 virgins, Matthew 21, 1 to 13. There were 10 lepers in Luke 17, 11 to 19. There were 10 talents, Matthew 25, again, 14 to 30. You know, there were exactly, exactly 10 I am's spoken by Jesus in the, in the Gospel of John. So, the number 10 is a very important one. God bless you, Ellen, Dawn, Asha, uh, Loretta. God bless you all immensely. God bless you in day. Let's just begin to give God thanks because a couple of days ago, God released the word to me when I was wondering, Father, I wonder what the month of October is going to be. He said to me, my daughter, one word. He said, harvest. Harvest. October is the month where our fasting ends. October is the month where we take delivery. Now, I don't know about you, but I am living in huge expectations as to what I'm expecting for the month of October. Whatever it is, I think I'm entitled to, I am begging God to multiply it by 10. I hope that's your prayer too. Please, I beg you, even till now, if you've not written the 10 things you want god to do for you please i beg you you need to you need to you need you need to write it down you need to write them down because we don't just pour water in a basket we want to hold god on account of something hallelujah if you are part of the singles that went or part of the people that went to the dr lukoya conference yesterday i have spectacular good news um the seven of us that went be very highly expectant it was not an ordinary meeting you know it was not an ordinary meeting so however your level of expectation as members of the platform in particular for those that went to that conference yesterday heighten your expectation heighten your expectation Heighten your anticipation of what God is going to do. Heighten what you know He's going to do. Heighten what you are expect. Heighten just literally. Don't leave anything in your reserve. Don't leave anything at all in your reserve. I want you to, however, you've hoped on God in the past. Truly, truly, this time around, take it to the 1,000th degree. The Spirit of the Lord says we are entitled. The Spirit of the Lord says we are very, very entitled. He says that 
we have done the work he says that the harvest is ripe he says we have done the work there is honor in tarrying tarry ye in Jerusalem until the Holy Ghost has come upon you we have tarried we tarried in our Jerusalem this is the 52nd 53rd day we're taking this until the 70th day my people I beg you as we have tarried with God you know that God is a businessman and his prophet crazy there is nothing that you are going to there's no type of transaction you are going to ask God for that he has not partaken in in the past so God is a God of transactions God is a God that will sit with you and work it out with you good evening uh, woman of God prophetess Sylvia good to see you my darling hello Liz uh, Lizelle Mary is with us God bless you all yes uh, Amara you're very correct Amara says I'm very I'm entitled we are entitled it's our redemption right you know it is our redemption right God has purposed it to bless us. Jesus did not die on the cross for nothing. This is the month of October. My people, let's lay hold. Let's lay hold. Let's lay hold. Begin to declare. Say, the month of October, you must favor me. <laughs> the month of October, you must favor me. The month of October, you must favor me. This month shall be different. The month of October, you shall favor me. The month of October, you shall favor me. The month of October, God shall make haste to help me. The month of October, God shall make haste to help me. Begin to pray. We are praying. Say this month, God will make haste to help me. That was the prayer of the psalmist in Psalm 70 and 1. Make haste to help me. Make haste means come quickly. Make The year is almost finishing. I want you to declare. It's very important to declare. Say, my Father, my God, I shall finish this year stronger and better. I want you to say it. The finisher's anointing has to come upon you. October, November, December. We are in the last quarter of the year. My people, if there's something you wanted to buy at the beginning of the year, you've not bought it, go and buy it. If there's something that your heart was set on that does not go against the grain of scripture, by, all, by any means, that you've not bought, go and buy it if there's a conversation you need to hold with somebody you've not held it we're in the last quarter of the year make plans to go and hold it if there's restitution you need to make by all means go ahead and make that restitution now we are in the last quarter if this was a hundred meter race we are now over the 60 meter mark we are we are just we have gone over the 70 meter mark as at today the first of october what makes this day particularly important as well is that on this day, uh, however many years ago, 1960, Nigeria gained her independence. So to us Nigerians, the 1st of October is a day of liberty, liberation, freedom, emancipation. Wherever you are, however it is that you are watching or wherever it is you're watching from, I need you to truly believe in the ability of God to be able to emancipate you. Believe in the ability of God to emancipate you. Believe in the ability of God to emancipate you. Believe in the ability of God to emancipate you. Believe in the ability of God to free you. Believe in the ability of God to make it happen for you say this October spirit of the living God do not pass me by spirit of the living God do not pass me by this October deliver for me this October deliver for me say ahead of my ahead of this of the month finishing up my father my father I lay hold father I shall finish this month stronger and better Say the year has not finished. Before the end of this year, I shall sing my song and dance my dance. My Father, my God, make haste to help me. It's important you open your mouth and ask God to make haste to help you. There are times heaven doesn't need your permission to move. 
There are times heaven needs your permission to move. I want you to ask God, say, my father, my father, make haste to help me. My father, my father, make haste to help me. My father, my father, make haste to help me. My father, my God, make haste to help me. Make haste to help me. Make haste to help me. In this month of October, make haste to help me. Say, my father, my God, whatever you've not planted inside my October, assign to scupper my October. Say, uproot it, O God. Say, as I run this race of the last quarter of the year, my father, run this race with me. Say, my father, run this race with me. I mentioned a few minutes ago, I said, God gave me a word. He said, harvest. Harvest is what happens after you've prepared the soil, you've tilled the soil, you have planted into the soil, and then, you know, it grows. Harvest is when you go and take what has come out of the ground, what the ground has yielded for your sake. We have prayed and prayed and prayed. I hope you are ready. Your thanks giving will be loud. If you watch that video we did earlier, you would have an inkling of what exactly I mean. I want you to demand that this October, that the God of glory visits you. Say, God of glory, visit me this October. Please share the video. Say, God of glory, visit me this October. Say, this October, I will not be emptied. This October, I will sing my song and dance my dance. Say, this October, I will sing my song and dance my dance. Say, my Father, my God, this month I shall decree a thing and it shall be established. And that's what Job 22, 28 encourages us to do. It says, Thou shalt uh, decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. It is what you open your mouth and decree that is established for you. When you refuse to decree anything, it means you've allowed what the enemy has said to be that which takes place. And that cannot happen. I want you to know that refusal to decree, refusal to allow the enemy to decree in your stead means that invariably it's what the enemy wants that makes manifest in your life. And we are not careless on this platform. You need to know that as part and parcel of taking charge of this month, it's important for these prayers that are going to assist you, that are going to help you overcome obstacles, that are going to produce the proof of the power of God. It's important you put your back into it. I want, first of all, you to thank God for making it through to this month. A lot of people who started January did not make it this far. Begin to thank God. Share the video. Give God the glory. Give God praise. Because you are in this new month. Not many made it. 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 But you have. Give him the glory because a lot of people would love to be in the situation that you are in. Some did not. Some people started the year with their two legs. As we speak today, they don't have their two legs. Some people started the year mentally okay. As we speak, they are sectioned. Some people started the year and they had high hopes. As we speak, some people have been swindled. You've not been. Some people started the year, they were alive. They had their own car. At, at this time of the year, they are dead. Why? Because they lost their car or because they entered into a one-chance bus and that was it. I want you to thank God because he allowed you to see October. He allowed you to see the last month. Uh, he allowed you to see the 10th month of the year. I want you to invite the Spirit of the Living God into your month of October. Invite the Spirit of God into the month of October. Invite the Spirit of God into the month of October. Invite the Spirit of God into the month of October. Invite the Spirit of God into the month of October. Decree that the womb of this month will bring forth blessings upon blessings into your life in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Say you the month of October, I speak to you. I command you to bring forth blessings in your womb for me. I decree that the womb of October will yield for me. I decree that the month of October will yield for me. 
I decree that the month of October will yield for me. I decree that the month of October will yield for me. I decree that the womb of this month will bring forth blessings to me. I decree that 